Hello everyone. If you want to clear this CEH practical exam, then you are at a very right place because I'm going to tell you all that you need to know before attempting this exam and most importantly, I'm going to share with you the exam questions that you will get so that you can prepare yourself better before appearing to the exam. So without wasting time, let's get started. These are the things that I will cover. So I will tell you basic exam details, what type of environment is there in exam, different topics and modules covered in the exam, then different tools which are commonly used in the exam and the exam questions and possible solutions and then I will give you my exam review. So for exam details, it's very simple. There are 20 questions and passing score is 70%. So you need to get minimum 14 out of 20 correct answers for your questions. Exam duration is six hours, which is more than enough. Exam mode is online and it is on Aspen's iLabs. Talking about the environment, as I said, environment is based on the Aspen's iLabs. This iLabs is same. If you have uh, purchased the EC Council's CEH bundle, then you also get access to the iLabs environment. So this exam is same based on the similar environment that is iLabs. So basically you will get two virtual machines. One is a parrot box and another is a Windows box. Note that there is no Kali in the latest update. So it is replaced by the Parrot OS and the exam is open internet exam. So you can Google anything. You can even watch videos, look into the write ups, but the internet is allowed only through your personal laptop. Uh, the virtual machines are not connected to internet. Questions distribution is 60% uh, questions are based on Parrot OS and 40% are based on Windows. The session will be remotely proctored. So one proctor will be assigned to you. He will guide you everything about exam. Uh, he may also ask you to show your entire room so that they can confirm that no one else is there inside the room and no mobiles or other screens are allowed. Only one laptop or desktop is allowed with a mic or speaker on and you are allowed to take one 15 minute break or two five minute breaks. So that completely depends on you and you need to mention it to your proctor beforehand. So these are the topics or modules that are covered in the exam. So as you can see footprinting, enumeration, packet sniffing, which requires Wireshark, then web application hacking. Generally they give WordPress as a website to hack, then SQL injection, password cracking, cryptography, steganography, privilege escalation, mobile hacking. These are all the topics that can be asked during the exam. Important thing to note here is that there is no wireless hacking here. This is because your virtual machines are not connected to internet. So that's why they don't ask you wireless hacking questions. So that's why that particular module is not covered here. Talking about the tools used on the left hand side, you can see are the tools which you will have to use in Pirate Box and on the right are the tools that you can use in the windows box. So in parrot box, uh, net discover and map Hydra, John the Ripper, WP scan, SQL map, ADB that is Android debug bridge are the tools and in windows, Wireshark, Hashcalc, Veracrypt, BC text encoder, Crypt tools, no open stego are the tools which you need to use in windows box. So you need to understand how these tools work and you need to have hands on experience with each of these tools to proceed with the exam. So what kind of questions that you will get in exams? So before going into the actual exam questions, I want to tell you that the questions that you get in exams are very specific and very straightforward and you just have to execute as per their requirement. How many machines are active? This is going to be your first question. Uh, this is common for everyone basically. So you just need to use this net discover command to scan your entire network to find out all the active machines. So in my case, uh, there were three more active machines excluding the one Parrot OS and Windows. So total were five. So answers will be like multiple choice or they will give you a text box to enter the answers. So in this case, the there was a multiple choice. So three, four, five, six. So five was the correct answer for me. You just have to use the net discover to get the answer. Which machine has FTP server open? So in this case, uh, you just need to run the Nmap 
port scan on all the machines and whichever machine has a port number 21 open that machine has the FTP server whatever IP of the machine is you need to input in the text box so that's how you solve this question find two secret files using FTP you can see that some questions are interlinked with each other so as you can see in the previous question we found which machine has the FTP and now we need to find two secret files uh, inside that FTP for this the solution can be just brute force the FTP usernames and the passwords and all the lists are already there in your machine so you just need to execute the brute force find out the phone number of web application user so in this case this web application has a SQL database and SQL database has user details in which phone number is also there so for this you need to use the SQL map to get access to the database of the application so after you get the database you will get the phone number as well for that particular user brute force wordpress website users password when anything comes about wordpress you just need to use the wp scan here it is a simple users and password list is already there in your machine so you don't need to go searching for the the word lists another question comes like decode the hex file so for decoding the hex file there is one tool that is crypt tool that you can use to decode the hex file which machine started dos attack ddos attack happened to which ip find out http credentials from a pcap file so these are three different questions basically uh, but you need to use wireshark for all three of them so in all three questions you will be given a pcap file and you just need to uh, analyze the packet by using wireshark to find out answers of this all three questions another question is decode the given text using given secret so you'll be given a secret or a password you just need to decode that given text so for decoding a text there is a tool installed on your windows box that is bc text encoder you just need to use that tool and provide the secret and it will decode the text for you and calculate sha1 hash of the text for calculating any hash you need to use this tool that is hash calc it is also present on the windows box just need to input the text it will just generate the hash of that particular text decrypt the hidden volume and find the secret file so for this you can use veracrypt whenever anything related to volume is coming you just need to use the veracrypt so you can decrypt the volume using veracrypt and find the secret file and you will get the answer in that particular secret file uh, another type of question is crack the given hash so you can use many tools but i prefer this hashes.com so so you can go to your personal laptop and just go to the hashes.com copy that given hash from your VM and put that in the hashes.com and and it will crack the hash easily so this is a steganography question uh, find secret in image or file so in case of image you can use the open stego and in case of file you can use snow so both the tools are installed on your windows box you just need to use them to get the answer and this is related to android you need to find some secret file in android so in this case you need to uh, use adb that is android debug bridge uh, using adb you can connect to the android and and get access to the file structure of Android and retrieve the secret file another type of question I saw this one was quite tricky send data to another machine it is firewall block so in this case you need to use the covert TCP you can go through the covert TCP documentation and get hands-on with a covert TCP to solve this particular question so that's all about the questions that came across during my exam only question I missed was this covert TCP one rest all the questions I had attempted and so so I cleared the exam with more than 70% easily so as far as my experience goes uh, this was entry-level exam now whether you should give this exam or not basically depends on you so this exam basically test your skill in terms of how much you understand the tools and how comfortable you are with using the tools i hope these all questions gave you fair amount of idea that what to expect for your exam you will definitely see similar questions in your exam as well so all the important links about this i will paste in the description below you can go through that and prepare for the exam well so thank you guys for watching this video if you found this video really helpful please don't forget to hit a like button and also you can consider subscribing to my channel because i'll be coming with a similar type of content in future thank you